All right, so this is the roof of Kelsey and Chris's house. We'll set our new unit up here. Um, I imagine we can set it somewhere close to the edge here where we'll be doing our service work. And it is two stories. We'll be able to do our pick from the front here and set our unit down on the ground or on the on the roof. Our refrigerant lines will be ran up the sidewall along with the electric lines. That should be everything. We're at Chris and Kelsey's house. We're going to do a replacement of a furnace and an air conditioner. Um, you can see all the duct work here. Uh, this main supply plenum is going to be replaced from the top of the coil up to the ceiling. So I'll get some measurements on that for us. Um, there's a supply here that breaks off and goes over to the ceiling and through the floor. We'll just attach that back to the supply plenum. There's another supply back here that goes up to uh, to the kitchen, I believe. Um, so we will attach that one back to the plenum as well. All the rest of the duct work's gonna stay as far as our supply goes. Our return is gonna get replaced from the bottom of the return duct down to the floor. We'll put our five inch media cabinet in somewhere where we can fit it. Um, we may have to bump the whole system over just a little bit because there is a beam in the way right here. Uh, flue pipe is two inch. We'll have to replace that to three inch flue from here to the outside. And that's the exterior wall. And then we'll do intake as well. We'll pull our intake from outside and we'll do a flush mount kit outside. That should be everything downstairs. Um, oh, our refri refrigerant lines, we're going to replace those from here outside. They're potentially wanting to move the system up to the roof, um, so that would require a new electrical circuit ran from the breaker panel right here, which is a general electric load center. And there is a double 30 amp breaker for the air conditioner. That should be it. We're actually going to pull this unit out from the patio. Um, remove the disconnect box. We're going to have to run new refrigerant lines and electrical from that location up the side of the wall here up to the roof and then we're going to have a crane drop the unit off on the roof for us to uh, install our new unit up there. So we'll need a new pad, probably a couple 4x4 four four pieces of wood to set the, the pad and unit on, um, but that should be everything out here. Um, our our exhaust and intake are going to come out of the wall right here. 